We have learned new information about the arrest of a St. John's County teen and two others who were accused of killing a man in downtown Jacksonville earlier this month. 19-year-old Ryan Nichols is facing a second-degree murder charge. His friends, 18-year-old Daniel DeGuardia and 21-year-old Holden Dodson, are facing charges of accessory. News for Jacks reporter Alicia Hatcher joins us live tonight with more on this case. Alicia? Scott, according to this report, we learned what led to the chase and why Ryan Nichols allegedly pulled the trigger. Ryan Nichols is behind bars for second degree murder after a man was found dead next to a dumpster. His friends Daniel DeGuardia and Holden Dotson are facing charges of accessory after the fact. Investigators say a bystander found a man lying on the ground next to a dumpster suffering from a gunshot wound. When emergency crews arrived, they pronounced him dead. While investigating, detectives found several surveillance cameras in the area. According to the arrest reports, surveillance footage captured the victim being chased on foot by a man who appeared to be holding a gun. It goes on to say the victim was seen trying to hide behind the dumpster. Then you see the suspect raise the apparent handgun and multiple muzzle flashes. When the victim is being chased, a dark colored Jeep Grand Cherokee appeared to be following and stops in the roadway near the dumpster while the suspect is shooting the victim. After the victim is shot, the suspect gets into the Jeep and flees the area. Research located the owner of the Jeep, which belonged to Daniel DeGuardia's mother. DeGuardia also matched the appearance of the person driving the car as detectives investigated. Holden Dotson was seen exiting the same SUV and entering a gas station. While Dotson and DeGuardia were being interviewed, they both said they were talking to someone when Nichols started chasing the victim and they followed them on foot. They go on to say Nichols told them to get back in the car and Nichols grabbed Dotson's firearm. They say Nichols also told them the victim was the person who had stolen Dotson's gun. Dotson says he heard gunfire and then heard the victim plead for his life saying, Please don't do this, as Nichols fired more rounds. He goes on to say he saw the victim's head explode as he was being shot. Dotson went on to say while they were heading back to his house, Nichols took apart his handgun and tossed it over the Buckman Bridge into the St. John's River. Later that day, he called police to report his gun stolen, even though knowing the truth. Nichols is being held without bond. For now, reporting live, Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.